Hey guys, this is Mark here from PixelFiendTech.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to remove the background from a picture in GIMP. Okay, so I'm going to do it in two different pictures, the first one easy and the second one slightly harder. So here you can see we have this character, don't really know what it is, I just grabbed it off Google Images and you can see it has um, kind of a green screen you could call it. So what you can do here is just remove the single color. So you can see we have the solid color as the background and then he has black trousers, white top, blue um, and nothing really clashes with the green so we don't have any green on him, possibly a bit in his shirt but that shouldn't affect us. So what you do is you go over to your toolbox and grab this tool here um, or press shift and O. So I will click that and then simply click on the green and you can see it selects all the green area. Then what I do is go over and right click on the little layer tool, click on add alpha channel and then press the delete key on my keyboard. I can then do control shift A to get rid of the selection and you can see here we have our man and we have removed the background so you can see I can move him around here and then for example if I wanted to change the background I can now give him a white background so um, that is the simple basic tutorial of how to take away the background. So for example, if I had a picture of a hill and I wanted to put this guy on the hill, I would just put the hill as the background, um, resize him to fit in shape with the hill, and then the, I would have it done. So I'm just going to close that, um, close without saving, and hopefully here we have our new um, picture. So this is a little penguin and you can see here it will not work selecting the background so um, I'm assuming this isn't going to work. If I go select the background you can see there it selects the eyes. So if I were to do what we did last time and click add alpha channel is already there. So if we click that you can see it takes out the eyes which I do not want to do. So I will just undo that and deselect. So what you can do, um, this is going to take a lot longer this way that I'm about to show you. So I'm going to zoom in so I can have more accuracy. And then what you do is you select this Paths tool. And then what you can do here, you have a curve. So you can select here and here. Then go to the middle of the curve and you just need to kind of line up the Paths tool there. And change it around with these little toggles. So you can see there I have that lined up fairly well. It's almost um, okay, I suppose you could say. So I'm going to set uh, another little one. I didn't really mean to do that. Um, so I will just pull this one on top. And then you can just work your way around. Um, so you can either do that way I just showed you where you curved. Um, or if I go and remove those paths and start again by again selecting the paths tool what you can do is simply um, this is going to take a lot longer but you can keep on clicking and um, so what that will do is just um, it will just take away um, it will basically just be able to select and then for example if I just do this um, bring it back over to the start you can see I can go to image uh, sorry I can go into edit here and then select from path and you can see it selects that and I can delete that now what you also might want to do first is just take out a few chunks of the background so for example if I did not have a solid background here so for example say I had some hills what I could just do would be um, select that area, take it out, um, then possibly select that area, take it out and just work your way around quickly like that. Now another thing that you can do is if I just take it back here so we have the normal image, if I duplicate this layer by clicking this little button here, or uh, that didn't work so I'll just go to here, um, then what I can do is select the black part, um, so I will go, sorry, select colors, select the black part, and then if I go to, again, select here, and then invert, 
it will select everything kind of inside and out of that black line. So you can see here if I press delete it takes it out of that so if uh, I deselect this you can see we have that outline there. So then what you can do is simply um, show this layer again and what you're going to want to do is kind of remove um, kind of outside the black line so basically what you can do is in the path tool so if you see how here if I zoom in on the black line here it's gonna be really easy to just go inside that black line and I do not need to be accurate so for example if I do something like this um, and then we're to go up here and bring that back down to the start if I were to do that and for example say somehow that was the whole background I would do select from path delete that and you can see it does not delete that black bit because the black bit is in the layer above so you can just go around the whole of the black bit really easily doing that and you do not have to be accurate because you can still see that that black line has thickness so if you're wondering how I'm zooming here you can either use the zoom tool or simply hold down the control button and scroll with your mouse so that is a quick and easy way to do it you can see there if I do control shift A and then remove the paths by clicking on another tool then you can see there that I have removed that bit but yet the black line on the top of his head is still extremely smooth now if I were to go back and take out this layer uh, no sorry if I were to take out this layer you can see that the path um, on the black line is not very good but yet um, back if I add in that layer you can see just because I have that black line there it makes it smooth so I really hope you understand this if you didn't if you have something to ask me please leave a comment or email me at the link in the description also please give this a like and a share if it helped you and why not subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you very much for watching see you